and welcome to another edition of Evan Ginsberg's Legends TV live from Madhouse Studios. I'm Evan's co-host Steve Ludwig. Evan will be with us in a little bit and in the great tradition of all the great variety shows, The Ed Sullivan Show, The Tonight Show, Joe Franklin. Today, Evan Ginsberg presents Robin Channing, Magician. And to start the show off for us, welcoming back from Edwin Vasquez Musica, our dear friends, James and Edwin, Edwin Vasquez Musica. Thank you very much. I'd like to dedicate my musical portion of the show to my uncle who passed away earlier this week, if that's okay. Thank you, Evan, so much for having us. Intoxicated by the image A prisoner of our own mind Trying hard to reach the finish Almost there But not quite Let's rehearse now for a minute this time we might just get it right I'd like to see if we can limit the insecurities tonight I'd like to do away with mirrors But just today, if you don't mind I am beautiful to be Someone you like But how can I like to see That I am beautiful A chance this time. Chance. We see the fear and speculation. We hear the judgments in the mind. One can feel. Isolation making its way from behind. I want you to know that I get worried. I want you to know that I pretend. I like to see if we can bury the expectations. Make amends. I like to do it with mirrors and really see you in the end. I'd like to believe that I am beautiful. Yeah. 
chance this time Perfume de cocina Hay un lugar allá en la esquina Un negocio de comida latina Considerada una mujer muy fina Con la sencillez de campesina La mamá rosa Oh 
casa It rains and onto cemented streets, into a city of electric stars, onto grounds covered with tar. Oh. Your 
promenade is telling a stunning scene Radiant skies, unscathed sands and palm trees Your semi-colored skin speak of a sacred sun What is it? Where your name is from? Oh, you know You're beautiful So beautiful My beautiful What is it? What is it? What is it? I love her.
Sueño en la playa, arena sentada, solita calladita, concentrada, y bailándote páginas en las olas que hablan de nuestro amor. Pero despierto, y sé lo cierto, tú piensas que he cambiado, que aquel pasado lo tengo olvidado. Recuerdo la dulzura de tu piel, la hermosura de tu cuerpo, la sinceridad de tu mirada, la suave caricia de tu cabello cayendo sobre mi piel.
cambiar Pero es lo que llevo a que mi pecho Que poco a poco me acaba Y a la larga no sé qué hacer Aunque me acabe No puedo ni quiero olvidar Y sueño en la playa Thank you, Madhouse. Thank you, uh, Legends TV. James, go on the bass. My name is Dr. Robert Brevard. I'm here for Multi Medicine in Westbury, New York. We're located at 1065 Old Country Road, Suite 214. Been here for about 15 years. The practice has medical doctors, physical therapists, chiropractors, acupuncturists. We also do pain management and we have orthopedists on staff. Here at Advanced Multimedicine Rehabilitation, we've got physical therapists on staff who treat an array of conditions from neck pain to back pain, shoulder pain. We treat carpal tunnel. We treat a lot of car accident patients, slip and falls. We treat patients with knee injuries, with ankle injuries. We have state-of-the-art equipment. We've been here for over we do 15 years. We a vast years. array of diagnostic testing from x-rays to EMGs. What is an EMG? It's a diagnostic test that allows a doctor to determine where the pinched nerve is. Cora is a physical therapist at Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. She's working on Stephanie, who was involved recently in an automobile accident. Stephanie has tight thoracic and cervical musculature, and Cora is doing some myofascial release work and some therapeutic stretching to help her with her pain. Vicky is also a patient here at Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. Vicky is now working her leg muscles, specifically her quadricep muscles, trying to strengthen them after an injury she sustained. find yourself in need of any type of physical therapy, please don't hesitate to call Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. Located in Westbury, New York, in Suite 214. Phone number is 516-334-7000 or find us on our website at advancedmultimedicine.com. Hi, I'm Tatiana, and I'm a person in long-term recovery from heroin addiction. It was really, really hard, waking up in the morning, not knowing what to do, needing my next bag. I was so lost, but I'm here today to tell you that there is a solution. When I was in my active addiction, I didn't realize that there was another way of life. I thought that that was the only way, because it felt so good to get high, but it was all an illusion, and I didn't realize that. But today, being four years clean and sober, my life is absolutely amazing. I'm able to travel. I don't need a drink. I don't need a drug. I'm just happy being with myself. I couldn't understand for many years why. Why was I doing this? It's because I was an addict, but I didn't know it. Today, many kids are becoming addicted to drugs and alcohol, but they don't know exactly what they're getting into until they're out of it. And it's our job, it's my job, to stand for these kids, stand for their recovery, and fight for their addiction. So I'm the president of Onward Forever, and I provide recovery services and support. And we're here to help. We're here to just listen. Anything that we can do to help.
If you need me, this is how you get a hold of me. Please call 347-244-1550. 347-244-1550. I developed this company to help you, our families, and our community to fight this crisis on Long Island and in our nation. Thank you. This is Beth. Hi. Hi. Oh, congratulations. When are you due? I'm not pregnant. Oh, look at that. Excuse me. You're totally thin. You look very sexy. For life's bleachable moments, all it takes is three quarters of a cup. Being a fireman is more than just putting out blazes and giving kittens CPR. Sometimes my duty demands I fan the flames, like when a call comes in from a lady who needs immediate assistance. Maybe she needs help with that computer thing. Maybe she wants to go antique. Could be as simple as understanding that walking in heels is... It's hard. Aussi simple que l'été dernier à Paris. C'est sympa. Maybe it's ladies' night in, and she wants a simple, delicious recipe for margaritas with a twist. First, a can of limeade. Now hold on to this. You'll be using it. Side note, kittens make everything better. Next, add water. Now, a bottle of light beer. It's not, shh. Trust me, I'm a professional. And last, and most important, Salsa Blue Tequila. Now, you mix it up. Ole. Yes, that's what I'm trained for. Whether it's to help her choose leggings or pants, telling her leggings are pants, or discussing leggings and jeggings versus pant pegging at her next ladies' night in, I'll come to the rescue. Don't call me a hero. Just call me. Let me know what time. Welcome back to Legends TV. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm Robin Channing, the magician and mentalist here for Legends TV. And I have a one-man show coming up at Theater 294 on November 8th. And at the same theater, Theater 294, I'll be there on October 17th to predict the future. 
Uh, but for now, I'm going to show, show you some excerpts from my upcoming show on November 8th. And as a matter of fact, I'd like a couple people to join me on stage. Uh, young lady, could you uh, join me on stage, please? Yes, make her feel welcome. Okay. okay. Oh, that saved me the trouble of asking for your name. Vicky, was it? Yes? Hi, hi, hi. how are you doing? And uh, may I ask one of you gentlemen, um, Edwin, was it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Musical stylings of Edwin. All right, we bring him back to the stage. Okay. Okay. Now, let's see. You know what? I'm sorry. I made a mistake. Okay? Because nothing against you, I'm not supposed to touch you. I shook your hand, but that was a violation of what I was supposed to do. Okay? Uh, just know that I'm, I cannot touch you, and I'm not supposed to touch you. Nothing against you. That's just the nature of the demonstration we're about to do. Uh, Edwin, could you stand over here, please? Sure. Okay? And with your left hand, hold the bottom of my iPad, please. And with your right hand, hold it here because we cannot, whatever we do, we cannot cover the camera over here. The whole point of this scenario, maybe we can just, yeah. yes, the, the whole point of this scenario is that we need to see Vicky on the screen of the iPad, the, the person that I cannot touch, okay? All right, so we agree on this, all right? Now, ladies and gentlemen, when photography was first introduced to the world, the ancient people at the time believed that the act of capturing a person's image was the act of capturing their soul. But we're not going to do that today. Okay? Besides, Halloween is a few weeks away from where we are right now. But don't worry, we're not going to do anything that mythically horrendous. <laughs> what we are going to do is we're going to demonstrate how the act of capturing a person's image is the act of capturing their essence. And by capturing your essence, Vicky, what we're going to do is we're going to attempt to influence your essence, okay? Now, Vicky, I have some very, very specific instructions for you. In a moment, I'm going to snap my fingers. And when my fingers are snapped, you're going to close your eyes and keep them shut. Do not open them, whatever you do, except for when I snap my fingers again. Okay. While my fingers, well, after I snap my fingers, while your eyes are closed, you're going to be in a state of relaxation. And in that state of relaxation, you're not going to move a muscle. You'll be completely still. And while you're still in that state of relaxation, you're not going to say a word. You'll be silent. Okay? And if you happen to feel anything, any sensations whatsoever, just simply make a note of it. Okay? All right? So, snap my fingers. You're, you'll stay. Your eyes will be closed. You'll be silent. You'll be still. Are we, are, are we agreed on that? Yeah. Very good. Here we go. And perhaps we can, yeah, you know what, let's turn face camera because we need to see you facing front. That's good, okay. Here we go, here we go. Vicki, raise your hand if you felt something touch you. Lower your hand, please. Vicky, with your finger, point to where you felt something touch you. And Vicky, raise a number of fingers to indicate how many times you felt something touch you. Okay, Vicky, it was unfair that your eyes were closed in the meantime, so I'll have to bring you up to speed, okay? We have an entire studio that can verify that I never actually touched you beyond the point where I shook seriously? your hand. Yes, yeah, seriously, that's the weird part. Okay, Edwin, you were there, you saw everything. Okay, guys, you saw it, you know, Evan? The weird part is that the part where I did touch you was on your image on the screen of the iPad itself. Ooh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I call that magic for the 21st century. Thank you so much, Vicky. Thank you, Edwin. That was cool, right? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much, okay? Now, part, part of what I do in my work is I like to incorporate modern technology whenever possible, like you just saw with an iPad. Well, I'm going to try something else. As a matter of fact, yeah, I do some Ikea work. Okay, all right. All right. As a matter of fact, um, we're going to play a little uh, game here. Let's see. 
you know, could you, uh, could you just name any card you want? Any card you want? Okay, name a card. Um, Jack of Hearts. Jack of Hearts. Now, did I influence your decision in any way, shape, or form? No. I did not. Okay. So, if I were to just, um, if I were to just deal cards, like so, as a matter of fact, instead of dealing cards, I could just go like this. Say stop. Anytime you want. Stop. Okay. Now, you stop me here. That doesn't look like a jack of hearts, but that does, doesn't it? Wow. Oh! Wow. Oh! Yeah, right. And let's see. Uh, uh, any one of you gentlemen, would you like to Come name on, a card? James. Just name a card. Name a card. Um, Ace of Hearts. Ace of Hearts. You sure about that? Yes. Okay, now that's actually kind of cool because the Ace of Hearts, I could uh, make sure I get a tight shot here. Okay, that's good, that's good. And then I just go like this. We have this. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm like, <laughs> uh, perhaps, uh, would you like to name a card? Three of spades. Three of spades. Okay, now we have a challenge, okay? Now, let's see. Three of spades, three of spades. Oh, this is going to be a challenge. Um, uh, do, you, uh, do you see a three of spades here anywhere? Do you, anybody? Nope. No? You don't see a three of spades at all? No. no. How about now? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. As a matter of fact, I'm going to ask, uh, let's see. Uh, I'm going to try something different. So could you come up now? Mm -hmm. All right. This is going to be a much more different kind of display, okay? So let's see. Just uh, remove a card. Any card you want. Any card. All right. Okay. okay. Oh, you want to be one of those people. Okay, fine. All right. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now, it's funny. Destiny sometimes does play a role in the actions and choices we take, don't, doesn't it? <laughs> yes. And is it any coincidence that out of all the possible cards that we picked, you named a certain card before that I instantly made appear, and that ha just so happens to be the card that you're holding right now, the Jack of Hearts? Unbelievable, Jack of Hearts. <laughs> That's too much of a coincidence, maybe. I don't know, too much of a synchronicity. Why don't you just remove another one, okay? It doesn't matter. And whatever we do, it has to be kept a secret, because before, your reaction sort of gave away too much, all right? All right, so let's see. This, you've looked at that one, okay? Mm -hmm. Obviously completely different from the Jack of Hearts. Right. Not entirely true, is it? Black, red, black, oh, I just saw the way your eyes move. When I said black, red, black, you, you had a very subtle twitch when I said red. That suggests it's a red suit, okay? Diamonds, hearts, diamonds, oh, that blink just now. Diamonds, all right? Okay, let's see, all right. Uh, oh, now he's being really tight-lipped, okay. Okay, number, uh, you know what a court card is? Jack. Oh, yes, King, yes, yes, yes. and therefore the others are number cards, okay? Mm -hmm. Number, court, number, court, number, oh, oh, oh the, the lip just now, number, okay? Okay, so, let's see. Ah, okay, all right, I just saw on your chin right here when I went down here. Something of a low number, not too low, not like a two. Four diamonds? <laughs> Four diamonds. Wow. You see that? <laughs> now this kind of display, I have to explain, you see, that was completely dependent on me seeing your facial reactions. Can we agree on that? Sure. Okay. So I need to see you in order for that to take place, you know? Kind of like human lie detector kind of thing? Yeah. But why don't we try something else? Let's just escalate the game more so. Why don't we try something with somebody that's not even in the room? Somebody that I cannot see. Somebody that's not in the room, somebody that's not at Madhouse TV Studios, Somebody that's not even in Deer Park, if that's at all possible. Why don't we try something with somebody that might not even be in New York State? Why don't, be, uh, Steve, why, why don't any of you, whoever has a smartphone, a cell phone, just reach out and call somebody right now, okay? Just reach out, call somebody, it could be anybody, Should preferably, yeah, just call somebody, yeah. Should I tell you whom I'm calling? Don't, don't, because that's going to clue me in. You see, oh, okay. this whole point is about, it's about sensory deprivation, okay? And it's also about identity deprivation. The less I know about the person in question, the more difficult it's going to be for me. Hmm. And what will I say when I get the person on the phone? Hello would be a good start. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but, that, but ask them to be, to invite them to be part of a live demonstration here at Legends TV, okay? All right, this is going to be... Um, so, you know. <laughs> Hello, it's me. Um, it's your brother, Steve. Uh, can you be part of a live demonstration with our magician, Robin Chan? Okay, he said yes. He said yes, okay. He gave away the name, S Steve, was it? Uh, 
Well, me. Yeah, it's you. Yeah, okay. Uh, All right, you're Steve. Okay. And the person in question, I don't know if it's male or female, but the one thing I would like to know is where the person is in the world. New Jersey. New Jersey. We're not even in, we're talking, we're not even talking about the same state anymore. We're in New York, they're in New Jersey. This is an interstate effect. This will be so cool. All right. And notice I didn't ask whether it was a male or female because obviously men and women have different thought patterns. So the less I know, the more of a challenge it will be. Ask the person on the phone to think of a playing card. Any playing card from a 52 deck of cards and don't say what it is. Do not. Okay. Um, I don't know if you heard, Robin, but don't, don't tell me what it is, but think of any card from a 52 card deck, but don't tell me. Okay, he's got it. He's got it. Okay, good. All right, here we go. Let me just see here. Uh, let's see. This is going to be... I don't know why I punish myself like this. I mean, I by, by the way, I was going to ask, is that an iPhone 6? No. 5? Oh, it's a 4. Oh, no wonder I was getting... It's a 4. Okay. Could you, um, with, with your hand, could you... Give some counterclockwise circles. Rotate that thing counterclockwise over my head. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I got a signal. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. All right. <laughs> uh, another one. Uh, three more. Three more. Three more. Yeah. yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. I, 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 okay, I've got a much better signal this time around. Here we go. Okay, I'm committed. I am committed. And if this fails, I'll be committed to the nearest mental hospital. <laughs> this is just one of those things, okay? All right, yeah, all right, all right. Okay, at this point, I just go out into the audience, but uh, I'm, I'm confined to the stage, so I'm just going to be like this, okay? Now, let's review. I ask, you call the person in New Jersey, mm -hmm. a person whose identity I have no idea of. I don't even know their gender. Mm -hmm. You ask them to take a playing card. They thought of one, and I've made my prediction. I'm committed. Mm -hmm. So for the first time, have this person tell you what card they were thinking of. Yes, now you can tell me. Jack of spades. Jack of spades. Really? Oh, my God. Really? Yes. Oh, my God. This is the ultimate illusion if there ever was one. Ultimate illusion. All right? Jack of spades. Of all the possible cards, of all the possibilities, Jack of spades. This is just going to be too cool. With your free hand, turn over the deck. Turn, it up, turn the entire deck face up. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Oops. Oh, 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 oh. I, look, I can't touch the cards. Okay. I can hold the phone for you. Okay. Good. Okay. All right. Now, with what, I'm, what we're going to do, like I said, this is the ultimate illusion. Okay. The ultimate illusion. We're going to spell the word illusion, and for each letter of the word illusion, I'm going to ask you to deal card face up into a pile for each letter. Okay. Okay. I. L. L. U. S, I, O, and on the end, show that to everybody. Look at that. Oh, 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 my gosh. And thank you so much, Steve. And thank the person on the phone. I'd shake their hand, but okay. Woo. Thank you. Okay. That was, oh, oh, I don't know. I mean, whoa. Uh, we, we, we got time for one more, right? That was okay, you know what? Actually, <clears throat> that was crazy. Oh my God, that's awesome. You know, I like to, whenever possible, talk about not just probability and statistics, but the difference between influencing people's thoughts versus influencing things that are beyond our control. Like the lotto, for example. By and large, that is a phenomenon that is beyond most people's control because you know it's done by machines, you know, air balls in an air, you know, in an air chamber, that kind of thing. So that is beyond human control, per se, beyond human influence, outside of just calling the numbers one at a time. But people, other people, are within the realm of influence. Can we agree on that? So what we're going to do is we're going to create a scenario involving the New York State Lottery where the people, random people with random numbers will decide what's about to take place, okay? Now, the f first number we can see, let's see, uh, yeah, in, New in the New York State Lotto, you know what? I should just uh, go like this, okay. 
In the New York State lotto, there are 56 possible numbers. We can agree on that, yes? Hmm. Having said that, um, name a number from 1 to 10. Any number, any number you want. Um, six. Six. OK, six. OK, now I, that was a free choice. I couldn't have influenced. OK? Right. Mm -hmm. Next person over. Name another number, but this time between 11 and 20. Which one would you like? 15. 15. OK, 15. There we go. OK, 15. And again, I couldn't have influenced. I couldn't have predicted that even. And Edwin, Edwin. Uh, this time, a number between 21 and 30. 21. 21. I couldn't have predicted that in either way, right? OK. 21. OK, that's a very good. Very, OK. All right, it can happen. Next number, this time obviously between 31 and 40. Name a number. 31.3. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. 32. 32. 32, okay. Yeah. 32, one step above the previous number, okay? All right. All right, back, back to you, Steve. All right, this time we've just done 41, uh, 31 to 40. Mm -hmm. Now 41 to 50. Uh, 47. 47. Oh, you want to go the opposite end of the spectrum, okay? You see, that's the nice thing about uh, human. Uh, influence, okay? There's a certain level of predictability, maybe. Finally, the last number, the, the sixth number. But uh, unfortunately, your number choices are a little bit narrower because you only have a choice between 51 and 56. Right. So name your final number. 52. 52. Oh, I love that number, by the way, for the very obvious reason of, of course, you know, 52 cards in a deck. Maybe that was an influence that no, I could have put in. You sure about that? OK. <laughs> yeah. As a matter of fact, uh, you seem quite sure of yourself with that. So you know what? Is it OK if I borrow you on the stage? Sure. OK. All right. Um, and you are? James. James. Pleased to meet you, James. OK, now look. Can we agree on this? All right, this is our series of numbers that we had written. OK. I'm going to ask you to hold on to that. OK. And you know what? You're going to be our custodian for that series of numbers, okay? Can we agree on that? Sure. Okay, and uh, Edwin, could we bring you back on stage? Okay. Now, you guys might have noticed that I've had this envelope on this table oh, no. the entire time. Can we agree on this? Yes. Okay. Now look, it's not just an envelope, okay? Can we agree that, look, there's no cuts or anything like, you know, nothing? Right. Nothing of the sort? Yeah, you can feel that, right? right. And inside of this, I have here the, 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 you can see the sit-up that I have here, right? Yeah. And inside of that, let's see, you can see the little envelope that's inside, okay? Right. Let's see. And let me just go inside and pull that out, okay? And this is where, Edwin, I'm going to ask you to help me out, okay? This is our masterpiece. Now, look, you see, this is a New York, lotto, st New York State Lotto ticket yes. stuff, and it's stapled. You can see yes. that, yes? yes it's okay, good. And then let's see here. Just uh, take this off, yeah. And you see that on this stub we have marked numbers. Yes. Okay. Well, I guess I was a little too clumsy with the way I took. But you can see that there are six marked numbers. Yes. Okay. You can see that for yourself. Now, what's the first number that we have written? Six. Six. Is a six marked off on that stub? Uh, yes, there is. There is your six there marked is. off. There is. There is. Okay. And six. is there a 15 mark? Yeah, 15, yes? Is there a 15 on that? Yes. There is, there is. Okay, is there a 20? Yeah, 21 is the next number. Is there a 21 on that? Yes, good. Is there 32? Is there a 32 on that? Yes, there is. Is there a 40, 47, yes? 47 is marked off. And finally, 52, my favorite, yes, is it? We just predicted the lottery! Whoa! Edwin! Thank you, thank you. Okay, woo! Yeah, right? So long as there's people in charge of the numbers, yes, we can do it, okay? All right, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Freshness, softness, and static control has never been easier with the Bounce Dryer Bar. 
I just stick it to the inside of my dryer, and I never have to remember. Oh! Oh! Old Spice body spray makes you smell like power! It's so powerful, it sells itself in other people's commercials. You smell like outdoor freshness. You smell like power. Yeah, I do. Try this routine to feel fresh and clean. Pair Charmin Fresh Mates with your Charmin. Oh, Old Spice Body Spray is too powerful to stay in its own commercial. That's right. Power. Old Spice Body Spray can change a regular smelling man into a man who smells like power. Now, how is this? Ah! Wow, you know what? I actually do feel more power. Potato chips! It's me! Hi, my name is Dr. Tom Dow. We have a multidiscipline practice in Melville and run Cockman, New York. And we treat patients with many, many different conditions, from newborns through geriatric patients with numerous different techniques. Uh, there's a technique and a, a type of treatment for every class of patient. We have them all here. Here's my son Thomas, also a doctor of chiropractic, working on one of our patient's cervical spine. This patient has had chronic neck pain for many, many, many years, has been to a multitude of different practitioners with little or no response. And with our specialized techniques, she has improved tremendously and continues to improve on a daily basis. Uh, we have two practices, one in Melville and one in Ronkonkman, New York. We are a multidiscipline um, chiropractic office. Uh, what that means is we have chiropractors, massage therapists, acupuncturists, psychologists, um, all working as a team and a network of outside professionals such as orthopedists and neurologists uh, that we work hand in hand with to help determine what your injuries are and the best way to uh, treat your injuries. Um, I have the great pleasure of having my son in practice with me. Uh, we work hand in hand, father and son, to give our patients the best care possible um, and a staff which is loving, caring, um, and you'll never have to wait at all in our office for service. Many times patients come into our office and they have what's called a soft tissue injury. Soft tissue injuries are like scars inside your body. If you've ever been cut on the outside of your body, you get a scar. The same thing happens inside of your body to your muscles and ligaments. So our job is to determine where those are, stretch the muscles, adjust the vertebra back into their correct position, and then refortify the normal structure with um, exercise. That's what we do best, and I hope someday you'll come see us at one of our two offices. Thank you. Back with Legends TV, the easiest show I've ever done, an hour into it, because I have these great, great guests, my co-host Steve Ludwig. All right. Yeah. Professor Ginsburg. Our, 
our returning champion, James Grova, who's <laughs> half the size since the last time. <laughs> yeah. Looking good. What are you dieting? Uh, Thank exercising? You. Eating better. Yes. Eating better. Eating a lot better. Yes. There That's you right. go. There you go. Thank and that, you. next week on this show we have. Yasin Madasa, who's a bodybuilder and nutrition expert and oh, okay. a pro wrestler, and uh, we talk about nutrition and exercise, so tune in next week as well. And we have the great Edwin Vasquez. Woo! Woo! And, uh, I, am, I am jaded. I've seen the best of the best from James Brown, Al Green, Marvin Gaye, Smokey, Stevie, etc., so on. So when I use the word great, it, it's, it's high praise. I mean Thank it, you, sincerely. Wow. Sincerely. <laughs> And Robin Channing, yeah. who just uh, Thank you. us all away. And uh, Robin will also be appearing next week on the show. And all I did to provide these two appearances was ask for next week's winning lotto numbers. <laughs> so, uh, all right. anyway. That's why I kept the sheet. It's in my pocket. That's there you right. go, right? That's right. <laughs> so, so, Edwin, I know you have a uh, CD coming out. Tell us yes, about this. Yes. It's called uh, 1111, and I think as a magician, you know, manifestation numbers in the spiritual world. Um, it's, it's, we're, we're aiming for uh, January 11th, and I'm really excited about it. Uh, Which is 111. Makes yes, sense. Yeah, yes. <laughs> That's right. Mm -hmm. And first, the first part of the album is going to be in Spanish, and then we're going to have a second, which will be in English. And uh, the production is being done at Make It Happen Production Studios. Yes. Jose Marrero, muchas gracias. Thank you so much. And um, uh, my buddy James Gover, of course, is there. And we have also some accompanying uh, musicians on the CD, on the recording, because these days, you know, it's, it's basically the internet. Um, and we're really excited about it. We're aiming to, to, to open uh, and release the CD in Carnegie Hall. Wow, uh, so great. There you go. For everyone's support. If not there, you know, elsewhere, but that's what we're aiming for. Wherever God takes us, that's where we'll go. That's Excellent. awesome. Excellent. That's awesome. Yes. And, and Robin, you have a big show coming up November 8th, I believe. Yes, that's, that's right. At Theater 294, I will be performing my one-man show. You just saw some excerpts of it, okay? And you, anyone who goes to Theater 294 on November the 8th, they'll get to see that and the rest of the show. Okay, so a lot of audience participation. In fact, the whole audience is part of the show. So, you know, it, it's not so much just the guys doing on stage and just, you know, doing their own thing. The whole audience is part of it. Yeah, it's nice. to see you. Yeah. yeah, right? Yeah. You know. And the highlight of the show is when you levitate Steve above the audience. <laughs> no! It's an amazing. Uh, good. <laughs> <laughs> You're really going to need some. Uh, I made that up, folks. <laughs> okay. okay. So, so, at least make me sit up anyway. Speaking of Steve, <laughs> Steve is a former English teacher. He taught in the system for 38 years, and now he is a fashion designer. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Well, uh, I have become the. I want to become the fashion plate of the internet, and over on the Planet wall there behind Evan, the black. Oh, oh. The new PlanetLudwig.com T-shirt, peace sign, peace on Earth, and uh, you can never go wrong with a peace That's sign. Right. It's available right. at my website, PlanetLudwig.com. And he only printed up 10,000 of them, so it's a rare collectible. Get one now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's and, the first printing. and show us the book. You have an interesting oh, book there. I'll, I'll tell you, it's one of. Um, one of my guests on the radio show, and, and he was here as well on the TV show, is uh, Joe Mandica from Australia, and he has a great CD called The Initiative. Anyway, uh, Joe was so nice and so appreciative of what we've done for him that he had this hardcover book made for me, and it's ads from every one of my shows. Oh, wow. From the beginning up to show number 72. And tell some of the names oh. you've had on the show. You've had some... Oh, gosh. Well, I've had uh, Tommy James from Tommy James and the Shondell, the late Leslie Gore, um, Tommy Rowe, another million-selling artist, um, Eddie Munster, Butch Patrick is his name. Little Anthony. So it's all different. Uh, I had a great movie from the 80s called The Outsiders with um, uh, C. Thomas Howell, all those guys. And uh, the author, S.E. Hinton, was on the show. It's every, all different uh, facets Billy of Billy Paul, culture. who I love. Billy Paul, Me and Mrs. Jones, yeah. one of the all-time great songs. Uh, yeah, very... it's, it's just, uh, you can hear all those shows at planetludwig.com. And I'm a big pop culture fan, and nothing like getting a chance to speak to your 
musical heroes and finding out that they're really neat people, you know? Worst oh, thing yeah. is to speak to somebody you really yeah. admire yeah, and they can Ooh, turn out to be a jerk or something. Yeah. And right. speaking of musical but heroes, I want to dedicate the show to the memory of two legends who just passed the other day. The great Phil Woods for you jazz lovers. Tremendous, tremendous saxophone player. Saw him many times. He was on Billy Joel's uh, famous song, I believe, right? Just the way you are. Wasn't uh, that Phil? Yes, Phil yeah. Phil oh, Woods, right? Sax, yep. And also um, Frankie Ford, C. Cruz, a tremendous live performer. He, he was almost like the White Little Richard. I mean, flamboyant mm -hmm. yep. and a great keyboard player. So Frankie Ford and Phil Woods. And Edwin, since we're on that subject, tell us a little about your uncle. Yeah, my uncle was, you know, uh, he was a music lover, so this is perfect to dedicate the show to him. Uh, what I remember a lot about him is he, he loved music, loved dancing, and he's my, my, he's my uncle on my mother's side, Miguel Pagan, and uh, mommy, la familia, de parte de nosotros, te dedicamos a nuestro tío, a mi tío, este show, dedicación, we dedicate it. I dedicated for my part with your permission. Of course, of course. Um, to my uncle, Bishop. There you go. There you go. Yeah, thank you. So, um, what else is coming up, guys? You have any big gigs coming up, Edwin? Tell yeah. us about it. We're doing. Well, go for it, please. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to remind everybody about. Uh, we did a show last week on screen addictions, by the way. Okay. Uh -oh. <laughs> I'm just, I just messed oh, okay. up. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, I don't know if they're gonna put the uh, full screen up, but uh, this is a flyer for my show on November eighth. Okay. Nice. okay. I just want to uh, bring everybody up to details. Oh, all <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's funny. It was this iPad that was using this photo. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. November eighth, Theater two nine four. That's two nine four Farmingdale Road. That's off of Route one oh nine in East Farmingdale, New York one one seven three five. To reserve tickets, call 917-825-7374. Again, 917-825-7374. Ask for the amazing Louis, otherwise known as Louis Bischoff, okay? So that's my one-man show on November 8th. Also, I'll be performing at the same theater on October 17th. I'll be doing a spot there, and I'll be predicting the future. Mm -hmm. and, and since we're talking about Theater 294, just announced every Tuesday night they're going to have live comedy with our buddy Sherwin XL. So if you like comedy shows, it's an intimate space. You'll love it. Sherwin XL, awesome comic. He's been on this show. And coming to Theater 294, December 5th, yours truly and Steve will be presenting an all-star review vaudeville for the 21st century. We're going to have magic. You know Rogue? Oh, Rogue, Rogue, yes. Yeah, Rogue's going to be there. Awesome. We're going to have So Soon, Roger Ortega, many, many others. A loaded show. Uh, $20 for vaudeville for the 21st century. Big holiday bash at Theater 294, December 5th. And Edwin, I would be remiss. Any upcoming gigs? Well, um, we just re I just want to thank, if you don't mind, Raisha Cartagena mm -hmm. for this wonderful event that oh, we were that part of. Oh, that was so wonderful. Yeah. So wonderful. The, the um, Latinas Philanthropy Council event. He could, of course, he says <laughs> a lot better than I would. Yeah. <laughs> it was fantastic. It was at the Green Space. Yeah. Beautiful which space. Which is another yeah. place we're considering for 111. <laughs> Um, but uh, the next upcoming gig we got is uh, uh, La, uh, La Calle, La Calle uh, which is across from BAM. Right, uh, October, October 15th. October 15th at 7.30. So we would love it if you all came out. Go to www.edwinvasquez.com, V-A-Z, not V-A-S. And reach out to us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and all that. You find him, you find me, you find me, you find him. It's going to be a great show, <laughs> Gypsy Soul. Oh, yeah. There you go. And, and for those who have not seen you on the show, you've been on many times, but if somebody's watching for the first time today, explain what Gypsy Soul is. Gypsy Soul is uh, sort of a concept that uh, I sort of formulated as, as, as part of uh, being an artist here in New York. You know, I grew up in a household of, uh, of bolero music. My father was a bolero artist. But uh, I, I, as an artist, you just can't help but be inspired you know, growing up here in New York, and Steve, you, all these beautiful influences of music become a part of you. Absolutely. So I think Absolutely. Gypsy Soul is a great description mm -hmm. of what that would mean. You know, uh, it's a mix of everything as far as way I the way I've experienced it musically. So you got a little bit of uh, the Latin, Spanish, and English, a little bossa nova, flamenco, yeah. bolero, 
rock, jazz, yeah. soul, R and B. It's in there. It's very. It's a very sincere expression. Which you've that. heard today, uh, playing live, and I love her. That's uh, original song, all original. Yeah. Um, incredible. That's basically rock too. It's like a melting pot of music, yeah. right? Yeah, really, a yeah. little bit here, a little bit. Yes, there. it is. Brilliant it is. stuff. Thank you, you very much. Thank you. There you go. And folks, speaking of brilliant, we're going to play some original music videos from some great indie artists coming up in just a moment. So uh, enjoy. But before we do that, please, any social media websites you'd like to give out? Um, Anybody? Well, I gave mine before, you know. Steve? Okay. Uh, well, planetludwig.com. Planetludwig.com. And uh, how do you spell it? Planetludwig.com. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, it's on the shirt. There you okay. go. Of course, you have to spell it to get the shirt. But anyway, right. and you know what? Um, how about your book there? Uh, apartment Evan. 4B, like in Brooklyn, about the turbulent East Flatbush of the 60s and 70s. And if you like, uh, thank you. If you like pop culture, we've got spaghetti westerns, hammer horror, mm. you know, uh, kung, kung fu flicks, etc. So Iris on. Chacon. Iris Chacon. Chacon. We love Iris Chacon. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, websites, websites, guys. Uh, my own website, robinchanning.com. R O B. Appropriately named robinchanning.com. Yeah. Okay. Same thing, edwinvasquez.com, E-D-W-I-N-V-A-Z-Q-U-E-Z.com. Yeah, sometimes people do confuse the spelling of the last yes. name. Yes, so, yes, yes. yes. Yeah, it's good. Last name is C-O-M. C-O-M, yes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but um, bum We'll be right back, folks. The dot, the dot. Oh, sorry. You forgot the, the dot. dot. dot After a very <laughs> brief time out, we're going to come back with some great music videos. Independent artists you should be supporting. Don't you dare go anywhere. Being a fireman is more than just putting out blazes and giving kittens CPR. Sometimes my duty demands I fan the flames, like when a call comes in from a lady who needs immediate assistance. Maybe she needs help with that computer thing. Maybe she wants to go antique. Could be as simple as understanding that walking in heels is... It's hard. Aussi simple que l'été dernier à Paris. C'est sympa. Maybe it's ladies' night in, and she wants a simple, delicious recipe for margaritas with a twist. First, a can of limeade. Now hold on to this. You'll be using it. Side note, kittens make everything better. Next, add water. Now, a bottle of light beer. It's not, shh. Trust me, I'm a professional. And last, and most important, Salsa Blue Tequila. Now, mix it up. Ole. Yes, that's what I'm trained for. Whether it's to help her choose leggings or pants, telling her leggings are pants, or discussing leggings and jeggings versus pant pegging at her next ladies' night in, I'll come to the rescue. Don't call me a hero. Just call me. Let me know what time. You gotta be highly skilled. You gotta be highly skilled. You understand that? Are you well versed? Yeah, you very smart man. You very smart man. Hit me with some funny shit. My shit is twisted. Tell me something. Tell me something. What do you have right there? That's awesome. That's a big. That's nice. You know damn well. You know damn well. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. Sir. Hey, are you interested in music tonight? I'm sure. 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 I'm s
My name is Willie. Willie, where you working at? We are twisted. We are awesome. We are awesome. We are awesome. Can you repeat that question again? Yeah. Question again. What are you looking for? All right, we are back with Legends TV for our final segment. One last quick plug that we forgot, Patty's Tavern, October 17, the great Robert Ross, so soon, and Robin Channing, and many more. Oh, so that's 4207 162nd Street in Flushing. No cover celebrating oh, wow. Steve Ludwig's classic pop nice. culture that's, that's, and um, Legends TV and my birthday and my wife's birthday. So I hope it doesn't rain because there's, there's no cover, so we might get wet. Oh, but oh, 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 Steve, oh, oh, Steve, oh, Steve will be debuting his comedy uh, routine. <laughs> Where are we? Anyway. Where are we? <laughs> anyway, folks, we don't have a lot of time left, so let's jump right in. Horse Cave Trio out of Detroit, one of my favorites. Check it out. This is Rev It Up. See what you think. Horse Cave Trio out of Detroit. Rev it up. Thanks to Dave Brzezinski out of the wrestling world and the music world, a buddy of mine, for uh, submitting that. And uh, as Steve walks right across the camera, like TV. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Steve, what'd you think? I thought the camera was misplaced. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 it, right it reminded me of Rockabilly. A little bit Stray Cats. I love Rockabilly. And... Uh, as always, the beat's great. I love the beat. And the, the video was cool itself, too. The visuals were very good. 
Definitely thumbs up. It has a good beat and you can dance to it. That's right, yes. I borrowed that yeah. from Dick Clark. Okay, yeah. James? Yeah, the same thing as Steve said, Rockabilly. I, I like that. They're stray cats. A different sound than them, of course. Mm -hmm. um, I definitely listen to that. Definitely. Good. Yeah, I like it. Good, Edwin? I think it had a little bit of, as far as vocalization, a little bit, of, I know it's extreme, but the doors sort of kind of feel. Uh, ah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. yeah. Now that right. I sing it. Which I did, yeah. because I love the doors. Yeah. yeah. Robin? Yeah, I, I felt, yeah, Rockabilly, you said it. I, I, I was thinking kind of a very sort of distant Elvis kind of feel to it, especially yeah, with the swaying. Uh -huh. it, it, especially when the when the performer was on the screen, the way it was uh, yeah. and so forth. I thought that was pretty good stage presence and showmanship with that. So, there you yeah, go. What did you video. think, Kevin? I enjoyed it very much. Otherwise, I wouldn't have shown it. So <laughs> five, <laughs> five thumbs up. There you go. Plus oh, yeah. Gave Trio. And um, if you listen to the theme of our show, Legends TV, the uh, instrumental is from the next artist, Cooley High. This is Cooley High. By the way, Cooley uh, is leaving for Las Vegas. He's got some big things going on, nice. so we wish him all the best. Cooley High's Eat Crow. Check it out, folks. Yeah. You know how when, when, when cats back in the day used to ask you some little stupid shit, you know, Older cats ask you some stupid shit like, you know, you going to school? How school? You know? well, actually, is it really that stupid? I don't know. Books. Nah. Read any good books lately? That's if it's good for reading. Now it's cool to act a fool, be as smart as elitist. Word. Fag hacks throwing in the back, pledging the legions to these non-realistic magicians that get squeamish at the sight of hemoglobin been flowing the intravenous. Since before you came out of the womb or the penis, the machinist is crafting the tune for you. Have you seen this eyewitness or that paper that reads like third grade English? Your bloke. Take a talk of the facetious, then open your eyes and realize just what the fuck it teaches. Well, it taught peaches how the boogie for the money taught these funny niggas how to do the duggy. It's all irrelevant. Man, this shit is all relative. First, second, third, cousins, uncles, and aunts selling kids. Scoops of ice cream with a gallon of pipe dreams. Walk up every day of the week and then Sunday you come clean. Clean, 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 clean,
you know, you're not a big hip hop fan, but you enjoyed it because yeah. it's great music. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, speaking of hip hop, uh, congratulations to Ta from the Bush who just got married, another mm -hmm. friend, and uh, he's been on Legends TV as well. So, all the best yeah. to Ta. And that should pretty much do it for uh, Legends TV, another eclectic mix. Thanks to Tom and Vicky and all our great guests. And uh, next week, a uh, very interesting show. Jay Matias, a Muay Thai fighter. Yasin Mudasa, you know, huge, huge bodybuilder, pro wrestler, and uh, former amateur wrestler. Steve Ludwig, of course. And uh, Robin returns. And Robin returns next week, yes! as I said before. So uh, it's going to be another great show next week. So as always, yours truly, Evan Ginsberg, wishing you the best. Thanks for tuning in. And appreciate the support. And come on out, December 5th, Theater 294. You can see all of this live. We're going to have uh, eight, nine, ten different acts. It's going to be like old school vaudeville. T Theater 294. What's the address again, Robin? Oh, the address again. Hold on. Let me put I got it. it. Okay, 294 got it. Route 109. <laughs> <laughs> see, okay. I beat the magician. Oh, that was a magic oh, trick I just the did. The there you go. All right. <laughs> anyway, that'll about do it, folks. Thank you so much. Okay. Yours truly signing off. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.